We have got the Alliance banding together to blow stuff up, to start the spark that will light the fire to burn down their enemies. But this isn't Star Wars, folks. It's Root from Leader Games. Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board, this is Sam, and today we are going to be discussing the Woodland Alliance, a band of revolutionary rabbits, factious foxes, and mutinous mites that are tired of being under the iron rule of the Marquise, and they are tired of making weapons for the Eerie, they are tired of the pesky raccoon getting in the way of all their sympathy, they are tired of being under. But how do you revolt? How do you make the rebellion rise from just a spark? How do you play the woodland successfully? Well, thank you for being here because today we're going to go through 10 tips and strategies on how to play the Woodland Alliance. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Your first priority is going to be getting that first base down meaning revolt. Check your hand and supporters and think through all of the possibilities. I know it may be tempting to wait for a big explosive moment, but getting the base out on your second turn is going to be even more beneficial as you can begin your presence on the board and start enacting military operations in the evening. Sympathy placement is a mini game within the game, a puzzle of economics and timing. You will want to place the sympathy in areas connected to the most clearings. Here's a chart for the autumn map that shows which spaces are moved on more heavily. The higher the number, the more it is likely to be moved upon. These are situational, but based on natural pathing, the chances of walking across are higher in some spaces than others. Take advantage of these spaces and abuse your opponents by gaining their cards as supporters. The Alliance are best equipped to craft cards, as spreading sympathy is easy. Think of ways you can take advantage of crafting opportunities when you are placing sympathy on the board, and hone these skills while looking out for cards like Armors, which will make you near invincible in combat, and Tax Collectors in Betterboro Bank, as they are great for card draw, and card draw is a huge asset to the Alliance. Protect your bases at all costs. Losing a base cuts down your supporters and weakens your military operations. It is a huge distinguisher to the sparks of revolution that you have built. Keeping your points competitive with the other players is a great strategy to keep the fascist felines off your back or the destructible Eerie away. Your goal is to convince them that you are not a threat and that your opponent's wars with each other are much more important. Let's talk combat. Guerrilla Warfare is insanely good, possibly one of the best standalone abilities in the game. Take advantage of getting the higher roll by baiting opponents to come to you. A good alliance player will play defensively and lead his opponents into traps such as ambushes and combat itself. The dice are your friends as you always get the upper hand or occasionally an equal one. If you are finding that you have to enter combat more and more in order to stop your opponents from winning, I advise banding up your best mouse scouting party in Codebreakers. Crafting these cards will protect you from ambushes, which are going to be your biggest fear when entering combat as it voids your guerrilla warfare bonus. Watch out for the Vagabond, as he will be a threat in combat if he finds your revolution to be a nuisance. His crossbow ability counters your guerrilla warfare, and he is great at tempting you to get your troops out of position. Once you have three officers, you can really start to score efficiently. 
use your military officers to perform one move, getting your critter into position, and then organizing one of them and recruiting it back at your base to keep it safe. Repeat this process and you will create a destructive time bomb that makes them see the Alliance in its full wake. You are the Alliance, so you have to play and think like them. Play the psychological game as it is just as effective as playing the game itself. Convince your opponents that your revolution will never be any more than an animal clearing party. Also, as an added mind game, keeping a base on your board to strike fear of a revolt in your opponent's hearts is a great strategy. Be sure to use this over them tactically during gameplay as the Woodland Alliance. Thank you so much for watching my video. This has been an absolute blast to make and I hope the next time you play with your friends, you'll be more prepared to play the Woodland Alliance. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As well as don't forget to click that bell notification as that will notify you when my next video is going to be released. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And with that, let's drop the beat.